Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Did you know that if you're an Olympian and you want a gold medal, then you are definitely part of the 1%, which means for that gold medal you won for your country, well, not only, you may not be able to keep it because I think you're getting hit with a luxury tax, a... A gift tax. Oh. An, Ill, an illegal import into the United States tax. I know. So... And actually, I guess if you don't bring it into the United States, you would never be hit with that tax. Supposedly. Anyway, can you believe that? You win a gold medal for your country and guess what you get? Actually, just, what happens if you win a silver or bronze? They don't count because they're not worth anything. Ah, oh. so anyway, well, meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Um, <laughs> one of the Olympians not only, wait, they took his medal away from no, him? No, he, uh, he, he was disqualified uh, after the competition because he, would, he traced positive for use of marijuana, which he said that uh, it, is, it, it is not illegal because the President of the United States and, uh, has said that t uh, the use of marijuana is, should not be criminalized and the and Olympic Committee is criminalizing him for doing what the President admits that he has done and that in the book say he was selling, so. Oh, yeah, but it's, the, the Olympics are in London, so aren't the rules by the IOC? Not well, the rules are always by the IOC, but no, but they said that our president knows more. Our president it knows more about how sports should be ran than the IOC, and that what is it? He should be, you know, he should be asked to take some of his valuable time for running our country to help run the IOC now as his new head. Oh God. Yeah. Well, they also think he should be, you know, motion picture. They said he was the one person that could probably win all the major awards in the entertainment community in one year because if he is so talented in all those areas. Well, and well, here's the other part. Last I looked, um, he's supposed to be president, but he's been spending most of his time running for re-election. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he's not that the dates that you count. He, count. He's held more, more campaign events than George Bush did in eight years as president, and he's done it in the last six months. Wow. But remember, he's basically helping out areas where he's going, such as the area today which is a campaign stop where they have to shut the beaches down all day and all evening and none of the businesses on the beaches have a chance to make any money because the president is there to talk about the, the job problem in the economy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, oh yeah, because um, uh, uh, their Republicans are out drawing, uh, out, uh, out uh, getting donated two to one uh, Obama's campaign, they wanted a billion dollars. He may be lucky to get 500 million for the entire Democratic Party. Oh, really? And Nancy Pelosi is begging for money. Harry Reid is begging people for money for their candidates. We need money. We need money. I mean, I mean, I get it from the DNC on two or three times a day that we are being out, you know, being the people, because it's all coming from corporations. Well, no, it's coming from Obama supporters, folks. And the fact that Obama has so pissed off his base he has a base that is Afro-American and Latin American and Jewish. He so he hates Israel, and now he says gay. They you know that gay rights is the most important thing in our nation, not to people that believe in the Bible and that a man and a woman should be married. And those are the people he needs to come vote for him. But then again, remember as I keep reminding you, folks, he does not need one single vote to become president again because he just doesn't step down from office. Ooh. And the IRS may have sent out $5 billion refund checks to identity thieves. Yeah, the Obama administration knows it. You know what they're doing about it? We are going to appoint someone to look into this. <laughs> and that is czar for the IRS now. Ooh, how many do they have? He's got a czar for, okay, czars do not have to be appointed by Congress. He just appoints them to be the heads of these, uh, heads of the sections of the government. And they're newly formed, so which means they have to have a whole staff. Yeah, to they, help them do it. Basically, right? it increases. Well, it helps to decrease unemployment among Democrats, you know, and and among fundraisers because generally fundraisers or bundlers, bundlers are getting all those jobs. These are the guys that never pay their taxes. Mm -hmm. And NASA rover lands on Mars. Which basically is the last thing that NASA will do as long as Obama's president, because it has nothing to do with Muslim outreach. And green war and green. And he wants the NASA job shall be to support the green movement in a, in the world now, which basically means there's no need for NASA. 
Oh, yeah, but, you know... That's... It only provided hundreds of thousands of jobs. Basically, Cape Canaveral or Cape Canada, whatever they call it, is gone. He, you know, the Houston space thing is gone. The thing in, Panas in Pasadena is gone. The, you know, the deal in Victor, you know, all of these, all of these, you know, all of these bases are going to be gone. Putting hundreds of thousands of people out of work because our president, Muslims do not believe in space folks. Ah. That's Allah's domain. You do not go to where Allah is. Well, also, you don't need to, actually, you don't need to be concerned about being green because even companies like Gibson are helping. I know. <laughs> yeah. So, I know. Gibson basically had to make a deal. Basically, they did nothing wrong except they didn't support the president, and that's all you need to do is not support the president. He comes down on you. I mean, I, I, if I'd have been Henry, Henry, I'd have simply set up yours and simply took it to the people about why. He could have destroyed the presidency by simply making a point out of it. Instead, unfortunately, he, he decided to go with his pocketbook instead of doing what was right. And Malaysia's 1HH jumps 14% of the world's at number three IPO debuts. Yeah, okay, the problem is the IPOs are all tanking again today. Because everybody, okay, Group One was a disaster, Zango was a disaster, and the big, the the, the rule for IPOs being disasters is now Facebook, because they said Facebook was never worth what it was valued and never will be worth what it was valued, and they set a bad taste in everybody's mouth for buying anything now. I know because see, part of it is with Facebook, everybody knew that. It's wildly popular, and a lot of people use it, right? That's yeah. why all those apps you have Twitter and Facebook and YouTube on them. Yeah, but there's no way to, okay, Facebook does not translate to mobile well because it's not designed for mobile, it's designed for PCs. You can do things on Facebook, but you can't monetize it on Facebook because it's not designed. And they said, well, they're redesigning. I've seen a new design, and basically I can't figure out how to make it work. They said, by, you know, the, by the ninth of the month, by the ninth of August, you're going to have a new design that will be more friendly, and nobody on my side can figure out how to make the thing function. Mm -hmm. If nobody, we're talking to guys that run the industry, they're the intellectuals, the technicians, and all Academy Award winners for special effects and engineering. How in the hell do you do this? So. And homes selling at record rates at, as banks ease lending rules. Yeah. That's basically, yeah. They started it on Saturday this week about everything being sold on record rates. So by the time they get to Thursday, this, you know, this is what happens every week when the things are selling on record rates. By the end of the week, they're selling below what they were last year at this time. Okay, all you got to do is look at all of the vacant houses in this area because they're not even trying to sell most of them anymore. They've just been abandoned because they can't get any financing for people to buy them. And HBO Nix's idea of Netflix partnership. Yeah, you know, because Netflix is dying. Why would you want to join with somebody that's dying? Mm -hmm. And um, report White House Obama campaign and tighten ties. Yeah, because well, he basically, uh, he, well, don't do any business with this president because he will not only back over you with his bus to election, he will run over you both directions. And Zynga takes acts to Outlook and spooks Facebook investors. Yeah, that's really a stupid what, what thing happened? considering they're okay. Um, they, they their company is going down the toilet like you would not believe. So you got to spoof somebody when you did this. You basically you're. Oh, it's a spoof. Yeah. Oh, oh, spooks. Yeah. Oh, they spoofs Facebook investors or they. Spoofs? Yeah, well, because of Zynga. Zynga basically is tanking, and Zynga came before Facebook, and it's basically, they did the same. Groupon, Zynga, they all overvalued themselves, and none of them are worth anything now. And they look at, okay, here's a good one for you people. The people that did the early investment in Facebook all sold the same day. Oh. They bought, they bought at the lower rate, sold at the higher rate, and now it is, um, it is now below the rate, way below the rate that, okay, it's not at the rate they purchased, but it is way above the rate they sold, so they made billions. And Florida Lieutenant Governor apologizes for a remark about lesbians. Yeah, because that's, they, that's they, okay, um, I, which was basically, it, was, it, it fits most Democratic Party members that are women, so. What? That's what he said. Oh, former Indiana basketball player Neil Reed dies. Yeah, basically, um, okay, that's the son of the uh, the basketball coach, Reed. I mean, the baseball, football coach, Reed. He died on oh, the playing field, yeah. Oh, 
And are we headed for another great recession? Well, no, the Democrats will tell you, and his experts, well, we, this great report that we're having, the economy is raising, you know, and unemployment is down, and there's no chance of recession. Well, yeah, because the whole rest of the world is in a stage of collapse, folks. And Great Britain's Day of Gold, and Paul McCartney leads the stadium in song. Yeah, that was one song. That was it. <laughs> one song. <laughs> Basically, he what he is, he's the cheerleader for, he go, he's got a box over at the Olympic Stadium. He's actually been going to the games, and every time they win a gold medal, he gets up and leads them. <laughs> da, 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 da. he got his flags and everything. That's cool! And the Scotsman, for Christ's sake. They don't like the English. <laughs> but he wants to be Lord McCartney. I have a feeling he just might get that done. Oh, yeah. With his, with his flag raising every time they win a gold medal and leading the whole. I mean, can you imagine he's got to be there. I think he's, he's basically taken the entire Olympics off to see the British. One is Great Britain, and that's his home, so he wants to go watch he's the game. He's supporting games. them, and they're actually doing. They're doing better than anyone well. would have thought. But the home team always wins lots of. The home team always takes home buckets full of medals. They they have a home field advantage. No, they just for they have a, yeah. Well, they have a, they have a referee advantage, I think. <laughs> and I'm on, and it's not just Britain. It's, it's, it's every country happening. where the home team wins medals that they've never won before. <laughs> and a Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Not until Barack Hussein Obama did you realize that Olympic Olympians were part of the one percent. <laughs> 